Oh, that's a really good question. And it's actually something that uh, we've, we I kind of pride ourselves on it at Popular Front. Like we, we don't let it get stale, you know? So when we first came out, Vaporwave was like very like the thing at the time. Um, and I love Vaporwave, not just the music, not just the style, the kind of, the philosophy behind it. Uh, I won't bore people with that, but there's a great book called uh, Babbling Corpse, The Commodification of Ghosts, <laughs> which sounds like a mouthful, but it's basically about the idea of where Vaporwave came from, kind of recycling mainstream mainstays and making something very original out of it, you know? And, and I just love that. And we started using it a lot in what we did that's how we kind of got actually separated ourselves people were like what they're war on war on conflict but they're using like vapor wave aesthetics like that you know at the time it was like whoa and then i noticed everybody start copying us and they just were surface level and i'm not like i'm not being like oh i'm so deep I just, i'm a nerd that's what it is i'm not so deep but i'm a nerd and i like to really get into stuff you know so i was like i seen it i seen these other people was copying it but just kind of surface level i don't think they really which is fine completely fine you know like i always uh look at it as the idea that some people think every tattoo has to mean something i think that no not at all i think if you want to have something cool in your body and you like look for it that's fine and so it's you know i'm not one of these gatekeepers but i just just felt like okay well we did this not just for the aesthetic reasons and then they're copying it so what do we do moan no they're not copying but they're just some of them were to be honest really were but someone be inspired or whatever and i said well okay then we've got to come up with something new something else you know what i mean so then we know it's like funk like that kind of music i mean there was many different stages in between that we actually started using like hard bass eastern european street vibes which has always been a part of our aesthetic but we really lent into that we had like that and then we saw like funk was like a thing and honest to god i mean i don't we didn't definitely didn't come up with it first but we were some of the first people to use like that kind of music that kind of style within the, the editing now that's every war video you know they i'm not saying they got that from us but i definitely think we're like definitely some of the feet standing on that that platform when that happened you know that you can't that we definitely honed a lot of that and I then was like, okay, so now we have to do something else. And basically, we're always trying to come up with something else, something else, different style, even if it's tweaked a little bit. Like at the start, it was very black and pink. Now it's black and yellow, which sounds like, oh, who cares? But to me, like I said, I'm such a nerd. That's really important. Very specific details. Attention to detail is very important. And a lot of the things that inspire us and are in our docs, and there's a reason behind it, no one else will know you know but it's just a very little detail that will some will someone will you know they'll go did you use that sample in that because it means this yeah and they're like oh i thought so like yeah yeah like you know i really love that kind of um almost like these esoteric details and i think that's what makes up the dna of something it's not just oh we need a good designer it's not you need to have like inspirations coming from somewhere and sorry i know this is a long way of explaining it and i really really don't want it to sound like oh i'm such a creative genius because i'm not but i have my ideas and i like things and, and i really research them i'm into all sorts of different things and when you put that into something and hone it into a specific style it can't die it can't you know it's because it's like you've created well it can die if you let it go stale actually that's a lie but it just can it should keep growing if you stay interested you stay curious which i do and it's not because Oh, that's how we've got to grow. I just am that way. And you know, I mean, like yourself, like we, it's easy. I was thinking back to that TikTok thing when you were saying that you're making me think and we're people interested in media, right? We like to create things. Clearly you're doing this. You reach out to me, you know, that's a step to reach out to someone like, Hey, can you, I want you on this. Like, it's actually kind of like a big deal actually. And it's, it's very easy to just do nothing actually, you know, you know, you can just do nothing. That's easier. It's fucking so, nerve wracking for people watching to reach out to Jake, considering that I was so oh, blown no, away I'm a by clown. his performance on the show and then looking <laughs> into his history and going, Oh wow. He's a big deal. He'll never no, I didn't mean that about myself. I just meant like any, to even reach out to anyone. Like I have it as well, you know, like, but you have to do it. It's like I said, it's easier to be dormant and do nothing. 100%. But, um, but even so we're interested in that, right? Your average person that isn't they or, or maybe they are, I think everyone is in some way interested in like creative stuff, but, but like if they're not, old, you know, actively engaged in it, which is, which is completely fine. Like the world would be mental if everybody wanted to be like a creator, you know what I mean? It would nothing would get done <laughs> you know what i mean nothing of true relevance would get done but um you know i, I think the most important people in society are definitely not the creators by any any stretch they're the fucking bin men and the bus drivers so i'm not saying like we're the ones my point is 
we're already interested in this, right? So we think, I want to see something new, I want to see something new. It must be very difficult if you're not, or if you've just got too much time to having to do other things. And I do understand how the TikTok, the Insta, whatever, will fill that very small gap. And it's sad and it's unfortunate, and I don't know how to combat it, that those platforms have filled that gap for people and made them then addicted, you know what I mean? So how do you then... I'm going on about all this shit. I've just got, oh yeah, I'm inspired by all this fucking weird esoteric shit. I've not got time for that. Most people don't have time for that. And it, it, it's, you know what I mean? And it's like, I, to be honest, I never had time for it anyway. I just did it anyway. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I didn't come from money, man. I, I worked every job you can think of before I got to this point. So it's not like I just always had this time to chill out and pain. It wasn't that at all. I was scraping and, and saving. But now that it's at that point and now that i've had that inclination to do it yeah okay well that's me i've had all these ideas but it, it must be difficult if you you just don't have the time where you you i don't know do you know what i'm saying like you're not in that you don't have like i have people sending me cool stuff my friends are, oh you like this jake check this out like a friend of mine the other day i was talking to her about like some weird like occult stuff and like technology and she was like i know this book called technosis it's kind of mental but she she was like you you like it got it loved it great how the hell else am I ever going to find out about that thing? It's not, it's, you know what I mean? It, it's like, I'm already in that circuit. So I would, I, I don't know how you then, how else do you get hold of that stuff? Otherwise, you know, you're just getting regurgitated. Like my point is you can't blame, not that you are, but you can't blame the people that are at the receiving end of it. You know what I mean? They're just getting it. And there's, there's often no other alternative. And it, it's very difficult to, enter this space with something new and original when people are basically just being fed the whatever they're getting fed in the 10 minutes and to be honest the best thing people want is a laugh and i, I think that's beautiful actually you know like sometimes i can't remember it was was it anyway there was some philosopher might have been was talking about memes and that and, and no it wasn't him. anyway someone's really down on the memes oh people just share memes i thought man that's a really human thing to be sharing memes because you want to laugh <laughs> like, you know you want to have a funny thing and communicate a very comedic thing very quickly and i don't necessarily think that's bad i, I just think the the sc the scrolling is bad the arguing on the internet is bad the, sure. the constant fascination and thinking that that is the real world is bad you know um it's not healthy at all maybe it's not bad but it's not healthy to to see and you know we're seeing it already i mean young men young women both struggle I, I don't envy them you know i don't envy the way of the world they're growing up in they're seeing like beautiful bodies all the fucking time you got young lads taking steroids at like 15 because they think they have to be this way yeah man it's it's difficult